Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for February 7th, 2024, from 1 John chapter 3, Breaking the Chains of Habitual Sin Through Christ's Redemption, from 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. So, what what does John mean by making a practice of sinning? We all sin. We all fall short of God's glory. However, this verse begins by addressing the behavior of individuals who make a practice of sinning. Now, this practice goes beyond occasional sin, but refers to a lifestyle of sin characterized by, and here's the key, unrepentance. Sure, there are sins we commit over and over again, but when confronted with sin, what is our response? Do we confess our sins? Or do we just sit there and try to self-justify our sins? Keep in mind that when we self-justify our sins, we get into trouble. Because we're in essence, we're saying to God, I don't need a Savior, and I don't want a Savior. Because Jesus is the only Savior to deliver us from sin, death, and the devil. Notice how John then continues as this passage asserts that those who persist in this habitual sinning with a lack of unrepentance are actually identified with the devil. This association is based on their alignment with the sinful nature that we have that is constantly opposed to God's righteousness and doesn't see Christ as our Savior. Because, as John notes, The devil has been sinning from the beginning. And notice, the devil never repents. The devil never says, I, a poor, miserable sinner. So there's a parallel drawn between those who practice the sin, like the devil, and those who are sinners, unlike the devil, who confess their sins. Because as we see in our daily life, The devil goes out of his way to entice people to sin, which is completely different when someone is confronted with their sins and who confess, I, a poor, miserable sinner. So John then teaches the purpose of God taking on human flesh and blood and saying, this is to die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins to defeat sin, death, and the devil. This is the purpose of why Christ was born in Bethlehem, why Christ goes to Calvary's cross. So John tells us the redemptive purpose is of of Christ's appearance. The Son of God came into this world for a specific ministry, mission, that is to destroy the work of the devil and sin and its grip over us. So the core mission of Christ is to dismantle or nullify the effects of sin that were brought about by the devil. And this includes breaking the bondage of sin, offering forgiveness, and providing a way for humanity to be reconciled through with God. And this is why in the divine service we make a very strong, important effort to confess our sins, to realize this sinful nature and to better appreciate our Savior who dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Those who continue to persist in sin, yeah, they're of the devil. However, those who confess their sins, who realize they need a Savior who is Jesus Christ, have the forgiveness of sins. Not because of their confession, but because of what Christ has done for them. Their confession is just another acknowledgement that Jesus is the Christ, the Savior of the world. So this verse highlights the changing power of Christ's mission 
in overcoming the influence of sin in our very lives. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.